Okay, ready? This is our routine. Hold the bar straight and bend down. Squat. Bend your knees and try and get your tush as close to the floor as you can. Keep your back straight. Move slowly. Try to really feel those muscles working. Again, note that every time you stand up, your back is straight and bend down. And, and now the next group of muscles. The idea is to work every time a different group of muscles. So one group gets tired and then the next one works. And then one group works and the next one rests. So you pull the bar up towards your chest. Make sure your back is straight. Right, your tush is tucked in. Pelvis up. And pull the bar towards your chest. All the way down, straighten your elbows and pull it up. Now, keep, make sure your back, back is straight and pull your arms forward. Pull the whole bar up and s with straight, locked arms. Okay, it's a different group of muscles. So the previous one is resting now. This way you can make rotations and do this routine over and over. Now you pull the bar towards your chest. Okay, make sure again your posture is good and do it slowly. Don't move your elbows away from too much away from the body. Just hold them in the air and straight. Don't move them around too much. Make sure your elbows are straight down towards the floor and pull it in and breathe and pull it in. You could do it. Right on. Okay, now you take the whole bar and move it uh, behind your head. Now this is for your abs. Start twisting the bar from side to side, but make sure your knees are bent and p twist it around as much as you can, as far as you can. Really feel all those muscles of your abs moving. Make sure that you're really using the right muscles. Whatever muscles you stress, those are the muscles that are going to be used. If you only focus on your arms, you're going to feel only your arms. So feel your abs. Okay, now, next one, you just move straight into bending. And bend down and pull up. This is for your butt. Okay, make sure your butt goes all the way back. You bend your knees a little bit, but it's not a squat. Your back is straight when you go down, and your knees are pretty, not locked, but straight 90 degrees towards the floor and pull up for a straight stand make sure your posture is good yeah take the butt as far back as you can and do 10 of these or 12 or 15 of each of these exercises now bend 90 degrees and start pulling the bar towards your towards your stomach or towards your ribs really and pull them in and straighten your arms all the way down every time and pull them in it's kind of like rowing pull them in this could be like the back of your shoulders do that a little bit slower than I'm showing here because you really it's not really supposed to be very aerobic it's, it's to strengthen you okay now back to the mattress you get down you hold the bar up and pull your, ar your legs towards it the bar is just helping you stabilize. It's not really feeling heavy. But this is really a lot of work on your stomach. Try and do this slow. Okay? Just really get your abs working. Your abs, maybe your butt even. Whatever muscles you focus on, they're the ones that are going to work. Now this is for your chest. It's good to work out all of the body. Don't be afraid to work out your arms too. And push. Push it upwards and breathe and push it up. Now this one is for your abs. Just notice, note that you're holding your abs really tight and just do what I'm doing. But notice you're not going to feel it so much in your arms if you hold your stomach really strong. If you hold your stomach and your butt. This is really really good for your, for your, for your abs if you really focus on the stomach. It's an amazing amazing exercise for the stomach it can really get you flat 
Now you could do the same thing, but just bending your arms backwards. And that's going to help you work on, on your arms. Or you could, you know, just keep on pushing. Just rotate from one exercise to another. So you get different muscles working. Okay, this one is for the back of your, of your arms. It's really good to work on. And now grab weights. It could be smaller weights, dumbbells, or a kind of juice fruit or something. And 90 degrees, pull it towards you. Make sure your arm doesn't go too much higher than your back. It's supposed to be pretty much in the straight line with your back and pull towards you. There you go. Make sure that you do both sides, not only one hand. Alright, make sure your back is straight, your tush is out, your legs are straight, and the focus is just on the arms. Don't lean too much on the arm that's on the chair. More hold your own body up. Alright, now move it to the back of your head and pull it up with both arms. Try and keep your arms as close to your ears as you can. Right? This will help you to not get all dangly, you know. And push them up. There you go. Keep on holding your whole body straight stomach in, pelvis up, and now let's do some abs, but make sure you feel your posture, feel what arms, what muscles you want to focus on, and this is going to be for the sides of your abs, it's really, really good, again, if you lean too much forward or too much backwards, you're going to feel it, it's going to be just different muscles, you could do it. But just listen to your body and, and work out the ones that you really want to work out. It could be the, your lower stomach, your upper stomach. And really hold in that muscle that you're focusing on. And you can make up some exercise like this one. I just like to work the sides of my, of my thighs because I have a tendency for bigger thighs like many women. So I find that one leg kind of sideways, not hardly working this leg. But this one, the side is really, really working hard. I'm just letting kind of go of one, of one thigh and the other one is, is really bending and really working. Yeah, it could go kind of like sideways, al almost like a dance. And that's also your tush is involved now. Okay, be creative. And this is my favorite part. Just dance with it. This part is good for intervals or when you're tired. Make sure you have good music on. Because you could just go wild and freak out and have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. You see, I'm just using a bunch of other muscles. And I'm intertwining it with the other exercise. All right, make sure you have good music on. Feel free, feel sexy, have fun with it. Yeah. You can put makeup on to feel pretty. Have a mirror in front of you. Just feel good with it. It's a good interval when you're tired of doing those over and over and over, those routines. <laughs> Woo! Da -na -na, da -na. Did I mention good music? Make sure you have something inspiring and fun. <laughs> Rock on. So I hope you guys learned something and that you feel better and stronger and fit. <laughs> hope you enjoyed.